Hello, my name is Alicia. Welcome to the channel, and this is weekly vlog number four. So, real quick, I will update you on reading. Right now, I'm in between books. I just finished the Hashtag no escape by Gretchen McNeil and I, I'm still formulating thoughts on that one because when I went into hashtag no escape I didn't really read the synopsis so I went in blind and the plot twists in that one I left me speechless. And then I went back and read the synopsis and everything made sense and I was just like, holy shit. <laughs> so, um, pardon my French, I don't normally cuss, but wow. So we're for still formulating thoughts on that one. I think the next book that I'm going to read is Belladonna. And then after that, I don't know. There's going to be a lot going on this week. My husband has a birthday and it, I mean, it's the end of the month. So I have to do end of the month things, um, budgeting and getting ready for next month's budget. And I have to start getting the kids ready for school routines because they go back in August. Um, I think they, at this rate, they have two and a half weeks before school starts, maybe. We'll see. I'm pretty sure it's two and a half weeks though. So we gotta get some reading done, some filming done, some birthdays celebrated, some school routines back into place, and we have to buy school supplies as well. So um, for now, that's all. I'm gonna go ahead and do this week's rolls for the Cravathon. This will be seven and eight. I think these two are going to be the last two rolls, but we'll see if we finish out a faction or not. So let's go ahead and do those rolls here and we'll see what we get. Okay, so here we have our board. Let me straighten it out a little bit and let's see what we get. Um, right now we are on the Witch Court. And we have been on blue squares, we've been on a red square, we've been on a black one. So let's see if we can finish out a faction or continue a faction. Let's see where we get to. So with this roll, a three. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, this this board really hates me, I think. But um, we landed on blue. So by now you should know that that is the werewolf court. So let's see what we have left in the werewolf court. And we'll see where we get to with that. Okay, so as you guys saw in the previous clip for roll number seven of the Cravathon, we landed on the werewolves again. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the prompts and see what we have left. Because a lot of these have already been done. So it looks like, given that we've already done a book in one sitting, we've already done a silver or silvery foil on the cover book, um, and we've already done the read a book with a moon or stars on the cover or in the title, and we've read a book featuring a shapeshifter. So all of those prompts cannot be used. They've already been used. The only ones that are left are challenge the alpha, start a series you are intimidated by, and two self-care prompts. One is to have a howling good day with some self-pampering, and the other one is make a transformation and shift things around, declutter and organize. Well, I am going to forego that one because I am in no position to declutter and organize at the moment. So I will do that at some point, but it's not happening right now. So my only other options are the challenge the alpha, restart a series you are intimidated by, 
which I have one of those and I've been putting it off and I might start that one. I just, if I start it now, I won't finish by the end of the month. So, I mean, that's fine, but. And the other one was a self-care prompt with self-pampering. I guess I am going to, you know what, I'm going to do both. I'm going to do the self-care prompt that I can do. So we'll do some pampering later. And we're also going to start the series um, to challenge the alpha. Because why not? I mean, that's the only thing I have left, really. I'm going to say that with these two prompts finished, or when they're finished, then this faction will be complete. I'm going to say that even though the declutter and organizing one is still on there, I'm going to call this finished because I cannot physically declutter and organize at the time. Although, I don't really have to do too much in the way of organizing, so maybe. Maybe I'll bring that one back and I can organize something small. I think I'll do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and add it back and do all of them. So we'll do self pampering. We'll do a little bit of organizing and I will challenge the alpha that will complete the werewolf faction. Um, let me find the book real quick and I will show you the book that I will use to challenge the alpha. All right, so we are going to go ahead and challenge the alpha. I'm going to do the self-care prompts first, but we're going to challenge the alpha with A Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin. It is a pretty big one. You can see I've already tabbed it for my reading. And this one, oh my gosh, it is, if I don't include the appendix of all the different houses then this one is 674 pages but go ahead look how small that font is i could only imagine but we are intimidated by this one and i've been putting it off and now I might as well use it to challenge the alpha of the werewolf faction. So this will be my book for finishing out the werewolf faction. Ah, <sighs> I, yeah, okay, we're doing this. <laughs> we're going to start a Game of Thrones. That is, um, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. But uh, let's see what the next role brings us, shall we? All right, so let's see. We did roll number seven and we landed on a werewolf. So let's, whoop, my ru dice ran away. Let's see what happens with roll number eight and see where we finish off with the board. As you can see, we're not too far from finishing, but with a six-sided die, I don't think we're getting very far. And five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're going to be on a demigod and god space. So let's see where that takes us. Okay, so I had to change my battery. But we are back and you just saw the clip for roll number eight. And we landed on the demigod god black square. So looking at the prompts... It looks like I have a lot that are into play. I remember that I only used one, I believe. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Because I still have read a book about a god or goddess. Read a book with god or goddess in the title. Um, read a book featuring a vacation or summary type of read. I still have that one. I did make a deal with the crone and I owe her a favor and I read a borrowed book. 
So that one is no longer in play. The next two are self-care prompts, which is having, having a pampering day and have a workout day. I cannot do workouts right now, so definitely not having it, but we could have a pampering day. And that would also go for, ooh, I would do two pampering days because one from the werewolf court and one from the gods and goddesses, uh, demigods and gods faction. We also still have, everywhere you turn, you see the battlefield filled with chaos. There are thousands of enemies against your small group of friends. To win this battle, you must read a book with chaos in the title or throughout the book. Ooh, I think I have one that has chaos in the title. Maybe two. The other prompt is, where there is chaos in the world, there must also be balance. Find a book that tells of balance or cosmic balance throughout the story. That one's going to be a little harder. Huh. I have two books in mind. Let me see if I can find them and see which prompts they fit. And then we will choose one from there. Be right back. Okay, so looking at the prompts, I think I've chosen the book that I'm going to read and it will actually carry for both of the prompts that I was thinking. I could have done Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, being that that is about Greek gods and goddesses, or I could have chosen um, one of the other Rick Riordan series as those have different gods and goddesses in them but I kind of wanted to limit it to just one and I actually found one that has two different prompts. So the one that says to win this battle you must read a book with chaos in the title or throughout the book. I found The Chaos of Stars by Kirsten White. This one has chaos in the title, so that works for prompt number seven. And it also is a book about gods and goddesses of the Egyptian variety. So that covers a book about gods or goddesses, and it also covers because it has chaos in the title. So I am going with Chaos of Stars by Kirsten White. I have had this one on my shelves for a little bit. And so I don't think that this will be too bad of a read. Because it looks like... Let's see. That's the acknowledgments. So 276 pages. I could probably read this in a day, maybe two, depending on what I'm doing. But two prompts, and that gets me a little bit closer to finishing the Demigod God Faction. But this is the eighth roll of the Cravathon. So we will add that to my pile of things to do this week. And I will update you a little bit later. So real quick, I'm showing you like this. Remember all the water that we had in the yard? It came up to here. And then we are going back here. So the water has receded a lot. And you can still see that like some of this back here is kind of squishy but the water has been receding even i am standing in like squishy stuff but i wanted to show you like because you see all of the water and where it was and where it's going it's going back into the ground of course but i wanted to show you let me see if i can see some all of these pink pods on these bricks back here these are apple snail eggs so with the rains 
that have been in our yard. We now have apple snails. And I don't know how many there are. I just know that there are a lot of them. And that's not all. So now we have snail babies. And we also have some tadpoles, which I will show you in a minute. I don't know how well they're showing up, but if you look carefully at the water and you see movement, those are tadpoles. We had a bunch of tadpoles in that uh, area that were in the backyard that I just showed you where the, all the snail eggs were. When that was full of water, we had tadpoles. So now, my husband decided to scoop up some and save them. Otherwise, they would have just died in the yard. And you can see how many there are in there. Let me zoom out just a little bit. You can see the whole thing. I'm willing to guess that there's at least a hundred in there. In varying sizes. Um, and at some point these guys will turn into frogs. But you can see... I'm trying to see if there's any that, because they're all tadpole stage right now, but like I said, some of them are bigger than others, so I'm wondering if some of them have started to grow their hind legs, because hind legs grow in first and then the front legs. But so far, it doesn't look like any of them have started growing. So these are all tadpoles in varying stages. They could be phase one, they could be phase two. Phase two are probably the bigger of the two sizes and um, once they get a little bit bigger, then they'll start growing their hind feet. But there you go, a little bit of the circle of life there. And if they get the water moving around too, too much, then it just becomes murky and you can't see them. So, there you go, a little bit of biology from my backyard. We have tadpoles just swimming around in a flower pot base. That's Simon. He likes to sit outside underneath the lounger chair. Hi, Sisu. Are you coming to tell everyone hello? Are you having a good nap, Sai Sai? Were you having a good nap? Yeah. This is our female cat, Isis. She also likes to sit outside. This is an older couch that we had in the living room and after we replaced it, we just kind of put it out here and until we can like take it to the dump. It's just kind of serving the purpose that the cats get to lay on the sofa and they can take their afternoon naps. You say hello, Isis. You say hello. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Thank you for the kisses. Mm. She is the she is the tamest out of the three. She is a Siamese mix. When she was first born, when we first got her, she was this cream color here. And as she got older, she got darker. <laughs> so she still has some of that like cream and white color here, but she has gotten a lot darker. You're not right, sweet pea. All right, you go back to taking your nap. Say bye everyone. Yeah, she's getting mad. I messed with her. I'm sorry, sweet pea. Go take your nap. So I realized that I did not close out the vlog. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick update and then close out the vlog. So reading wise, I'm on schedule. Still reading. Um, I am finishing up some of the Cravathon books. The only one I really haven't started is the Game of Thrones 
but um, I'm just about finished a Belladonna. There were a couple of days where I couldn't read. I had a lot going on. So we're gonna finish up Belladonna and by the time you see this, it will probably already be finished. But, so we'll finish up Belladonna. I can quickly read a Cruel Crown before the end of the month and I think that's it besides Game of Thrones. No, I have to read Chaos of Stars. So hopefully I can get those finished before the end of the month because I have a whole new TBR for August and I really need to get these books finished so I'm not overlapping months so that I have plenty of time to read everything. Because my goal is to reach 100 by the end of the year and I think right now I'm sitting at 55 so still doable. Um, but yeah, so that is the weekly vlog and uh, I will end this one and we can start the next one. So that's all for me in this weekly vlog. If you guys liked what you saw, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified of new content coming and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.